What is up guys, it's Danny and we're back with another YouTube video and today I'm going to show you guys how to reduce FPS or how to increase your FPS on Trove. So and we're also going to go over how to stop Trove from crashing. So ever since I did that thing that I did, which I'm going to show you guys soon, um, it helped me stop crashing. So if you guys hear that squeaky noise, it's my microphone stand. Sorry, it wasn't close enough for me, so I have to pull it out, and that's why you hear the sound. But yeah, let's get started, and let's go to the settings. First, you want to press escape on your keyboard if you guys didn't know how to go to settings, which I'm sure you guys do know how. Escape, settings, video settings, and then here is the thing. So in the last video, or the last F how to increase your FPS video, I did not go over this. So hear me out. Direct direct x is for nvidia cards or if you're like on a, a different base system but not amd or nvidia you should probably choose direct x because direct x functions with microsoft and most can and chances are most of your systems are microsoft and OpenGL is pretty much for amd cards um it has something to do with the the cores on the amd cards so yeah they do it two options whichever one works best for you go ahead and experiment but i recommend AMD people to use OpenGL and NVIDIA people to use DirectX and non-NVIDIA people to use DirectX as well since it's standard on all of the Microsoft operating base systems. So and if it if you are lagging a little bit make sure you update your DirectX to search up your DirectX download on Google and you should probably download the latest update. Next thing windowed windows windowed mode. Um, I per personally play in full screen. I get about 60 FPS. What did that say in the corner? I get, yeah, 60 FPS, which is absolutely ridiculous for me because I, I didn't think I would get 60, 60 FPS. But yeah, um, it's either you play in window full screen or windowed mode. Um, personally, I think windowed full screen is a little bit better. I think you get a little bit better of a, like, uh... When you alt tab out, you can you can surf a little bit better instead of going to full screen. So um, yeah, just uh, just choose whatever the hell you want. Windows full screen is when you want to experience the full game in like full screen, and then Windows for windowed screen. So um, I personally think the windowed win windowed version of this game lags a less lags a little bit, or no, lags less because of the pixels because you're not stretching out the pixels as much and your computer doesn't have to work hard enough to work harder to produce more pixels so um i think if you guys are having some trouble try to result playing in windowed windowed mode um the next thing is when you're in full screen change your re resolution to um this the resolution if you because well, chances are you're gonna have a 19 by 1080 monitor at 60 hertz and which gives you the smoothest gameplay ever so if you guys don't want any like latency or anything like that, you should probably choose this in full screen mode. But nope, this may cause you to lag a little bit if you don't have a good enough computer. Um, the next thing is actually um, kind of based on your preference. If you want better, like better looking details on the game, and you have a bad computer, but you're willing to risk the FPS for a better looking game go ahead and follow these settings so um these settings are perfect for my computer and it doesn't lag as much or it doesn't lag at all it stays at uh, it stays at 60 because of the vertical sync but yeah um for brightness I recommend you guys to keep it at one because other than that you go too bright and um you pretty much blind the hell out of your face so yeah I recommend you guys keep it at one so keep brightness at one if I can go back to your one, there you go. Um, and gamma, I I leave that one too. If you want to mess with the gamma, like if you want to be like full out blinded, just like that, you can go ahead and do that. If you like to get blinded by um some light, and that, and that actually is hurting my eyes right now, like actually straining my eyes a little bit. Okay, next thing, the draw distance is probably one of the main things that causes you guys causes you guys to lag since it's producing pixels 210 blocks away. So if I will walk 210 blocks away, it should be already loaded. As you can tell, it's all loaded already. And um, yeah, you might want to set that down. To, you might want to like um, experiment on how how much of a draw distance uh, your computer can handle. Most computers can handle um, 210 like mine, because mine is a, a middle. I want to say like a 
middle class computer built it myself so yeah and super sampling if you don't want to lag and you want to keep it like like clear and everything put it at one like put it at one if you put it any lower than that it, your game is going to look like minecraft dude like you don't want your game to look like minecraft so i recommend you guys keep super sampling at one um shader detail i turn that thing off because there's really no point of it because it just makes your game look a little bit better but as you can tell it looks a little bit better so I might as well just keep it on here because it's not really affecting my FPS or anything like that. So, um, if you guys don't like the different, or you, if you guys don't like the shaders or like the shadows or anything like that, turn that thing all the way down because that thing's gonna help um, your CPU work less. Because try not to produce shading and details on your game. So that should probably help you guys a lot. And your field of view really doesn't affect. Um, what your field of view is pretty much like zooming in and everything like that. You have a field of view, a field of view of a hundred. You'll look like a third person, but if you're like twenty, you'll probably be like first person or something like that. So um, not really first person, but like you know what I mean, closer to. I don't even know, but you're closer to your character, which is kind of weird for me. Um, detail distance. This is the one that's gonna kill everybody's computer right here. Um, this means that it will generate the details for. The distance you put so if i put 15 it will only generate the detail for 15 blocks ahead of you as you can tell if i fly above there you can tell the water is not detailed enough until 15 blocks later so as you guys can tell there's like a o ring right here where we're like i'm um, pointing at right there as you can tell there you cannot see above that point but if i turn my detail distance up it would go all the way out or like it will produce details when I fly there already because it's pre-producing the, the pixels I guess you could say so it's pretty good it's pretty much um, if you want to see details from far away you put that up but I keep I, I if I were you I keep it at 15 because most of you guys are probably watching this video for um, how to reduce your FPS not how to or how to gain FPS not reduce your FPS so um, yeah and um, that should pretty much conclude it, guys. That's all you need to do to, um, to uh, increase your FPS on Trove. So hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. There's a good way going on right now if you guys are new to my channel. Um, uh, for over 100k flux worth of items for my giveaway. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out. And hopefully this helped you guys out a lot. What is up guys, it's Danny and we're back with another two video and today we're gonna be playing some night. Some night. <laughs> some night gameplay I guess. We're gonna be playing